Lexus IS. It's always been their youngest printing car. The only one that doesn't necessarily say, I'm heading to the golf course. Let's see if its cred extends to its performance and technology. Now, Lexus cannot be accused of having crappy tech, but I'm kind of going to accuse them of having slightly stale, really good tech. This head unit hasn't changed in, I want to say, two full model years, not in any major way. Doesn't mean it's not great. Check out that map quality. That's one of the first of the really high resolution, fine dot pitch displays we ever saw, and it remains solid. As you can see, touch screen, so it's easy to get around and hit things that are on the screen itself. The system is DVD based, however, not hard drive based, which means, first of all, it struggles a little bit once in a while to make quick changes, uh, or if you're jumping around menus rapidly, there's a little bit of lag there, uh, but very little, I must say. Now, Lexus was one of the first companies to go with a big name, high dollar audio partnership. Mark Levinson in their case. As you can see, we've got a lot of good DSP options on this guy, your usual bass treble, all of that, plus you've got front and rear adjustments that are quite flexible. And under the DSP button is where you really get into the interesting stuff. You've got surround sound, which in this car is 7.1, out of 14 speakers, 10 discrete amplifier channels, 300 watts of power, and there's also an automatic sound leveler here to keep the volume going as the noise in the car increases. That's relatively ordinary stuff. Our input sources, AM, FM, of course, no HD radio. XM radio is your sat radio choice. It's a dealer installed option, by the way. You also can do an iPod adapter. It's a little unclear if you can do both XM and iPod. I've seen it both ways, so check before you buy one if you want to get both of those input options. At the very least, though, you always have an aux jack for any portable back here in the console. And with the Levinson package, you're not just getting audio, you're also getting, as you can see, video. This is a DVD CD changer. By the way, if you don't go for the Levinson package, you also don't get navigation, you also don't get a backup camera, you lose a lot of nice things, including Bluetooth hands-free, so that's a must-do on this car if you're learning about it here at CNET. The backup camera is pretty basic, good quality, I find it very sharp and it deals with dark and light really well, but doesn't have any trajectory lines or shaded zones. Now the motor in a 350 is a 3.5 liter V6, as you might have guessed, and there she is. Dual overhead cam, quad cam, all the usual stuff, variable valve timing intake and exhaust. Uh, we've got 306 horsepower here, 277 foot-pounds. Good numbers, not stunning, but eagerly delivered, which goes a long way. You'll do 0 to 60 in 5.6, they say, and 1825 is your MPG, so livable. Uh, you've also got a line of F accessories you can put on this car to make it a little bit like a Lexus ISF. A little bit, not the V8, of course. Here's a cold air intake over there. You can also get a carbon fiber engine cover. Other F parts include these big old flamethrower exhaust pipes here, which aren't just tips. It's a performance exhaust system that makes a great sound. And you see the wheels here. These aren't stock either. These are optional 19-inch F-series wheels. You also see the F-upgraded brakes behind there. I believe these wheels are made by BDS. You can also get lowering springs as part of the F-toys. This is all dealer-installed stuff. The IS350's 3.5 liter V6 goes out to a six-speed automatic with paddles and a shiftable gate. The engine is just great and smooth and willing, but the gearbox brings with it too much of the vagueness and shift delay that gave automatics a bad name in the first place. There is a limited slip differential on this rear-wheel drive car. On all four corners, you'll find brakes that are Brembo branded. Our car rides a bit like a milk truck, thanks to firmed up F-Series suspension parts and those big wheels. It's just that side of being compliant enough to be okay for everyday city driving. Starts to annoy you. On the other hand, when pushed, this one stays real flat and inspires plenty of confidence. The exhaust note is really nice, again, thanks to a Lexus F catback exhaust system. Frankly, it's almost absurdly ballsy for a three and a half liter V6, but it's fun. Okay, an IS350 is going to run you about 37.6, but if you want tech, you got to spend 5100 for the Levinson Audio GPS Nav package, including Bluetooth hands-free, 18-inch wheels, steerable front headlights, backup camera. You need that, and all the F toys are dealer-installed. Go haggle.